Coach Nickerson. We're on Broadway talking right now, right? Um, do you enjoy the ambiance of the jackhammers right now? You know, I, I, it used to not bother me as much, but uh, since I've been away from New York for some time, um, it's, uh, it's nice to see some peace and quiet, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, it's a little different in Greeley than it is in New York City. A little, a little different. A little different. different. Um, the biggest thing I always notice is when you open your um, hotel window at 1, 2 in the morning, the amount of noise here is crazy, right? It's nonstop, 24-7. The city never sleeps, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, talk to me about Andrew Alaris. The kid coming from the Great Plains at the edge of the Rocky Mountains. Is it like one of those movies where you see a kid come from like it's like, like an alien landing in New York City and just walking around staring up at the buildings? Is it like that experience? A little bit. Yeah, this is his first time to the city. Um, you know, he was up uh, a couple years ago. We sent him to Ithaca to go train and he thought he was going to New York City. So he had no idea. So this is his first time here in Manhattan. And uh, we got a chance to walk around a little bit yesterday, do some sightseeing and uh I think he's just really excited for this experience. Retaining him, such a huge thing that you guys were able to do. He's a program changer, obviously. He's your first NCAA champion in D D1, right? Yep. And, and, and that, that changes the program. He enters the portal. You guys are able to retain him. How huge was that for you guys? It's big. You know, I mean, Andrew and I have had a relationship since he was in eighth grade, right? So, I mean, we're, we're really close, you know, and um, you can't blame a kid in today's world to go out and explore his options. But at the end of the day, you know, he realized that, hey, being at home, being around my family, the people that I know that I trust, um, that matters more. And uh, again, we've got a great team coming back and we're excited for next year. And, you know, being a big 12 team, you guys are in a conference where you can make some noise. It's a huge impact, and you can do a lot of things as a team. And like you said, the returners you have, you guys are going to make something happen, I think. Well, I hope so. That's certainly the goal, and uh, Andrew obviously is the biggest piece of that. You know, He's going to score points, and once we can uh, you know, get a couple other guys rolling in that direction, we're going to be just fine. Late notice on this. This is something where both of you took it on late notice. I mean, two weeks out maybe, right? Um, what's that say about his training when he's able to take a big match against the, you know, the new NCAA champion? He's the defending NCAA champion the same way, taking a match such short notice. What's it say about his training? You know, I mean, honestly, he took a little break after Olympic trials, you know, and, uh, you know, probably more of an emotional break than anything. But I think at the end of the day, both guys are competitors, and I think they saw the opportunity and said, hey, this is going to be a, a great environment to go put it on the line against another great wrestler. And I, I think it's going to be fireworks, and I, I think they're going to go both, both go out there. They're going to try to score a lot of points, and we'll see what happens. We got Neil deGrasse Tyson, Tim Ferriss, uh, you know, Jordan Burroughs, all the stars of the sport come to this event, beat the streets. You're a New York guy five-time state champ, NCAA champ for, you know, obviously Cornell. So this is big for you. This is nothing to you to come to New York City, but it's big for this kid. What's this event mean to you and coming to Beat the Streets and having one of your athletes represent? Well, I think first off, it's a great organization that has a great cause, right? You know, we're trying to get kids off the streets and, you know, into wrestling. And I think wrestling shows a lot of those values that can really make people successful in life. And um, to be the headline premier event for that is, um, it's an honor for these kids, you know? And I know Andrew's excited and uh, he's looking forward to tonight. Okay, so I've told you my experience um, right behind us last night, uh, Alicia Keys walking out of a, a performance, right? And then uh, a, like a bar and grill, we saw Jesse from Breaking Bad sat next to him for an hour, right? So you're always going to see someone when you come here. Have you seen anybody yet? Has Andrew noticed anybody yet? Have you noticed anybody that's big time star here in New York City? Have you had the starstruck experience yet that we've had? Uh, not on this trip. But on my flight here was uh, Ace Fraley from Kiss. Really? Kiss. Kiss. How old is Ace Fraley, dude? He's got to be I, 70 I to, something. I had to look. He was 73. He's so, 73. Yeah, Do you look good? Still look good. No, ma crazy. no makeup, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> on the flight, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just New York City and you're going to expect that, right? Right. The kid from Greeley might get a little more shell shocked even tonight, though, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he, he handles stuff like this really well. He's a professional, you know. He's he's uh, gonna relax. He's gonna chill out for the rest of the day. We'll go get our warm up in. He'll go take care of business. I'm not worried about that part. Uh, it, so it's a little different. We actually, it's like we're uh, like a triangle almost. We've got our hotel, which we're in right now, and then we're in the same hotel, Emeritania, and then we got NYAC, which is where they gotta warm up. Then they gotta walk to the venue. How do you manage that? Because you got to walk four blocks through New York City after you warm the kid up. Are you the one who's warming him up? I am warming him up tonight. Oh you know, Coach Hall has been taking those responsibilities on the last year, which has saved my body. Um, again, it's just me here today, so uh, we'll, we'll put it in with him. You're putting in a lot of work, man. I see you. And it's like no rest for the weary, right? Um, how much travel have you done in the last two months? 
it, it's a lot, you know, it's nonstop. I've been on the road for a week. Um, I'm looking forward to getting home tomorrow and seeing my family a little bit. It comes with the territory, it's the job, you know. I mean, I, I love what I do each and every day. I've got a supportive wife who understands that uh, this matters to me and trying to build a program, and uh, I've got a lot of great people behind me, so it makes it a little easier. Man, the jackhammer just keeps going. It just keeps going. Nonstop, nonstop. <laughs> All right, you got anything else for me? No, go Bears. Go Bears. Coach, congratulations. Good luck to you guys moving forward, and I'll see you tonight at the gala. See you there.